Y'all, please be advised. Sing, 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 Hey guys, it's Krista aka Bay Minista and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about the COVID protocols that have been put in place for Miami Broward Carnival or Miami Carnival 2021. I'm just kind of happy that Miami Carnival is actually taking steps to protect masqueraders, carnival goers, um, spectators and the like. Miami Carnival has started this campaign talking about no mask, no mask. So basically they are mandating that you have to wear a mask for Miami Carnival events. And those include official Miami Carnival events. There's a difference between Miami Carnival events and effects held by private promoters. Official Miami Carnival events include Miami Carnival, Miami Carnival official Juve, also Panorama. As it stands right now, Kitty's Parade has been canceled. Another change that has been made is at first, they were telling people that you can either show up with your vaccination card or you can present with a negative PCR test if you are unvaccinated. But now everyone that is attending official Miami Carnival events has to get a negative PCR test by Wednesday, October 6th and that should cover you up until Miami Carnival. If you want to go to the source, go to miamicarnival.org, but most importantly, if you are on social media, go to Instagram and follow South Florida Carnival Band Leaders Association, as well as Miami Carnival Instagram as well, and they are actually posting information in regards to getting tested before you get to Miami or before you attend Miami Carnival official events. I wanted to actually shout out one of my fellow Carnival content Caribbean creatives. Um, she is Trinidadian, but she also lives in the Broward area and Makisha868. She's always bigging up my channel. I just wanted to shout her out on this video because she has a really, really well, straight to the point, put together a video about what you need to know in terms of COVID regulations for Miami Carnival, for attending Miami Carnival events. So I'm gonna put that in the description box below. So you guys go and check that out. You can also visit globalcarnivalist.com, AWM Carnival as well. If you, if you don't follow anybody, make sure you follow South Florida Carnival Band Leaders Association and the official Instagram page for Miami Carnival. They should have Facebook pages as well because I know not everybody's on Instagram, not everybody's on YouTube. And a lot of people don't know this information. Check them all out. I'll put all the links for those resources in the description box below. So basically the South Florida Carnival Band Leaders Association, they are actually having Instagram lives. And this is for the social media people. If you are on social media, they're also aiming to stream on Facebook. So if you're more of a Facebook person, I believe their videos are on Facebook, but I will double check and I will confirm that in the description box below. But Basically, they're having them every Thursday until Carnival, and it's to keep masqueraders, spectators with the most up-to-date information. I actually listened in on one of their lives, and I took some notes, so I'm gonna just really run through them real quick so y'all can understand the gist of what you need to know if you are attending Miami Broward Carnival events. So according to the South Florida Carnival Man Leaders Association, their goal is to have a safe as safe a carnival as possible in terms of what they are doing to like decrease transmission make sure people are safe they are mandating masks like i said everybody whether you're vaccinated or unvaccinated has to have a negative covid test and you have to take that test by october 6 which is a wednesday and present it when you are actually heading to the official events they're saying you need to bring id when you have your results in hand as well I suggest printing it out just to be safe, although I get my results on an app every time I go get tested from like Walgreens or, you know, one of the Florida State designated places to get tested. Either or, just make sure you have your results on you. If your first event is Panorama, you will get your band at Panorama and then you won't have to present that test again. But I would just keep it on you just in case because you never know, sometimes wristbands get lost, they get wet they get destroyed la di da di da just make sure you have that test on you there will be temperature checks they're saying everybody has to wear their mask at all times during miami carnival official events mind you this is all information from the south florida carnival band leaders association as well as miami carnival if you want more information on that i suggest you check out the website check out their social media handles 
that is where I'm getting my information from. So don't shoot the messenger if any of it changes. And all of this is subject to change because y'all know with this pandemic, things have just been like, whoop. They also explained that there will be over 150 Miami-Dade County workers at the event monitoring if individuals are actually wearing their masks. So I don't know what the repercussions are if you're not, if you get caught not wearing your mask. So another change that, you know, basically everybody needs to take account of, especially if you were going to both Juve and Carnival, is that Juve is now being held at a different venue. I know in my previous video, I had said that Juve is literally always, always held in Fort Lauderdale area. Um, but as of recent, they've changed the venue to where Carnival and Juve will both be held at the Miami County and Fair Exposition. Apparently the, the original Juve site is now a site for testing and vaccination. Remember Juve is still on the Saturday and Carnival is still on Sunday. So the, no change in the date. And now that may, that also may change things in terms of where you're staying. If you were staying all the way up closer to Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood area, and you're driving or you're taking Ubers or Lyfts, it may be a good idea to consider looking at Miami-Dade, I wanna say Wynwood, Brickell, Miami Beach area, Midtown, Overton, Miami Gardens even, all those areas that are a little bit, you know, southern, you could technically stay in North Miami. It's not that much of a drive, but just you have to take into account traffic. There's just a lot more traffic <laughs> during Miami Carnival, in my opinion. Taking Ubers and Lyfts can be a hit or miss. So if you are driving, just take into account how much driving you will have to do if you are staying all the way up like North Miami or Hollywood or Fort Lauderdale or wherever you guys are staying. So take that into account. If you happen to know the addresses of any events that you've bought in terms of FETs, I would definitely just take out Google Maps and try to do the math in terms of like how long it's gonna take you to drive back and forth, as well to drive to Juve and to get back to your accommodation. So I feel like, I feel like there still is availability in terms of like hotels and Airbnbs, but there is limited availability so if you want you can also check out my blog i talk a little bit about some hotels that are in like more southern miami also you know what's really good that i use a lot i always kind of use booking.com just because like i could you know book a place without prepayment and with you know free cancellation by whatever date and typ typically that's just what I do just because I, you know, especially now in this pandemic, like you just never know what's gonna happen. So if if I needed to cancel, like I've had to cancel trips like last minute just because of a whole bunch of different reasons. So if you need to book something else, I would strongly suggest try booking.com, look for an option that says no pre prepayment necessary as well as you know you can cancel by xyz date oh, i have an affiliate link for booking.com you can check it out you can search whatever hotels or area you want to search but i'll put some links down below so you guys can check it out as well i will make sure to put all those <laughs> all those links in the description box below just so you know just in case you feel like you need to change your mind if you don't need to change your mind even better even great you <laughs> I just want y'all to be safe and I just want y'all to have a good time. If transportation is an issue, now that Juve's um, location has changed, Miami Carnival, they always have this park and ride shuttle. So they have like venues where you can park your car or your vehicle and, or you can Uber to the venue if you want and take a shuttle from that particular venue to the event. And they run, they're supposed to run every 25 to 30 minutes, according to a committee member that was on the South Florida Carnival um, Band Leaders Association Live. That is what he said. He also said buses start one hour before each event from four locations and run continuously. Also, just FYI, the park and ride shuttle, there are no parking fees. It is free to ride. You're free to park, so you don't have to pay for it, which is awesome, right? And when you do pull up to those park and ride um, areas, you do have to show your bus driver your negative COVID test to board the shuttle. Just FYI, that is what was said in the South Florida Carnival Band Leaders Association Live. So do not shoot the messenger if that information changes. This information is subject to change because you'll be in a pandemic, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so another thing they said, 
if you do not have your PCR test, and I'm guessing this is gonna pose a problem at the park and shuttle ride. If you don't have a PCR test, you need to just go directly to the event and they will be actually doing rapid antigen testing at the gates of each official Miami Carnival event. The only thing is you have to take into account there's gonna be a certain turnaround time to get those results. So I don't know how long that is. And if you guys need to absolutely know how long that is, I would suggest you go and you contact the South Florida Carnival Band Leaders Association. This is what Hey y'all, Editing Krista here. I'm just gonna share again the infographic from Miami Broward Carnival's Instagram with the PCR COVID test sites in Miami-Dade County that you can check out. But I'm also gonna share in the next video where I've tested before and then also where you guys can schedule tests for Miami Carnival official events. I mean, it's a hit or miss. I personally haven't had the greatest luck with getting test results from like a Walgreens or whatever, but I've heard people say like you can get test results within 24 hours from CVS, Urgent Cares, all these different places. There's other places that um, I know like curative.com and typically they are pretty good as well because I know somebody that got their results from them like within I want to say within 24 hours and there's also the department of health and there are testing sites in miami in broward so you also have that as an option but i guess if you aren't flying in until like maybe thursday you can probably get tested wherever you live you can also pay for same day testing as well um it really just depends on your scenario people who are international i know it's a little bit different in terms of you know getting tested but i know for sure curative you can also go to the florida department of health sites cvs and walgreens i'm not sure i think you have to talk to somebody first before making the appointment so i would recommend to calling ahead of time and just letting them know hey we need to you know i don't think they would turn you away you just have to explain like what the situation is you know i don't personally foresee there being any issues. Another thing that people need to know, the Miami Carnival bands themselves are not taking your COVID result. The only people monitoring that situation according to the South Florida Carnival Band Leaders Association is Miami Broward Carnival. They are the ones monitoring it at the official event. But just know you need a negative PCR test. If you don't have any of those and you just show up to the event, they will subject you to getting tested via rapid antigen. I do not know the turnaround time on that. Definitely check out the resources I had mentioned before, Miami Broward Carnival on Instagram, as well as South Florida Carnival Band Leaders Association. Also, if you wanna to speak to someone directly, there's actually a number you can call for Miami Broward. Uh, they actually have it on their website. I will put it here on the screen just in case anybody wants to holler at them. This is a lot of information to digest. Y'all, please be advised, follow these pages, make yourself familiar with, you know, with maybe the people that work there or the staff or just, you know, turn on notifications whenever these people post because information can change quickly. And we all know that since, you know, Carnival has been canceled since, you know, 2020. I'm actually going to end this here and stay tuned. I want you guys to subscribe to my channel for a part three of just basically things you should expect when you hit the ground for Miami Carnival. I'll share a little bit more about that in the next video, but please subscribe and thanks for watching and share this with your friends. See you guys in the next video. Bye.